Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, just doing a quick little news video as Final Fantasy XIV updated their patch 6.2 promotional site with stuff that's going to be in patch 6.25. Of course, they had to do it the day I released a variant in Criterion Dungeon with everything we know. Now it's missing one thing, thank goodness for pinned messages. Anyway, just a few new images here for us to go over, the Omicrons, a new emote, and of course, Variant and Criterion Dungeons, a couple new images there. Not really anything we didn't know before, minus one of those pictures. You haven't seen this site before, it's got all the patch 6.2 stuff, even still says, coming August 23rd. Fortunately, we can skip down to the challenges section, and by skip down, I mean go to the top of it and scroll all the way to the bottom, because that's where the Variant and Criterion stuff is. So in case you haven't seen this description before, this is nothing new. A request from a certain someone in Old Da has you packing your adventuring gear and descending once more into the underground waterways of Sil D. Now these first two images are actually not new. These have been here since this was initially added. The only new image is this one, which is an English translation of screens that we actually saw back during the letter from the producer live number 72. Now, in case there was any confusion, which there shouldn't have been, we have the VNC Dungeon Finder. Not a great name, probably need to stop making new types of dungeon finders whenever they want to make a new type of content. Uh, but that's just what it is, so we gotta use it. So this is showing the variant dungeon, it's showing Nanimo, and it's also showing the 12 different entries we have on the right hand side. Now we know that you're gonna be able to pick your own path, and it's going to unveil elements of the story as you collect these entries, as you get different endings to the variant dungeon. So you'll eventually have to run it a total of 12 times, minimum I would say, in order to get the 12 different endings, making different decisions every time. As for the entry itself, this is a nice little lore bit that we are now getting in English. In Father's Stead, the Amalja constructed Zahara Rock when they came to join Uldan, purging the undead infestation from the subterrane. And if Zaharak was their main war camp, then the old fortifications we passed through would have served as a forward base. A question then, which tells us there's going to be some Amalja related stuff in there. That gives us a little bit of a hint of stuff we'll see inside. The question then is, why did my parents gift me the means to visit these rusted defenses? In my late father's possessions was a diary which made reference to irrefutable evidence of the Alliance. Mayhap there is more to the place than we have yet to discover. In life, father was a staunch opponent of the edict to banish the so-called beast tribes. Arrayed against them were the monetarists who sought to preserve their special concessions. It sounds like Nanamo just takes after her father, and that's something that uh, we, of course, are learning in a, a pretty, pretty direct way. So I'm really interested to see how these various entries end up being added, because they are being written from Nanamo's perspective. So she's going to be the one making the majority of these discoveries, and I think we're going to have some pretty neat backstory about Nanamo and her father and some other elements of the Sildene Uldan and uh, apparently the Amalja uh, relationships and how they were all this all these years ago. Nice to see that her father also was against just slaughtering the beast tribes as well. We also see the rewards. We knew this already. 40 astronomy tomes, 25 causality. We also know that that's minimum item level 575 and item level synced to 635. Specifically for the variant dungeons, criterion dungeons, min item level 610 for normal mode. And there's no minimum item level for savage because you have to preform a party and preformed parties can't have minimum item levels. So they just didn't even bother including one there. We'll just have to see how that ends up working out. And other than that, this is all details that are gone over in my everything we know about Variant and Criterion. But really like this little lore piece. I'm super looking forward to collecting all 12 of these. That's probably how you earn the mount that they showed off in the live letter. Anyway, so I was going to do it regardless. That's the only new image for Variant and... Well, for Variant Dungeons, that's the only new image. For Criterion, we got one new image. We already had this one. And in case anyone's wondering, because I've made this mistake as well. No, that Dark Knight sword is not the relic weapon. That is the tombstone weapon with a Dark Knight sigil over it. Uh, I forget what skill that is. I think it's blood weapon. But yeah, that's all that is. We also, by the way, get to see way more uh, pom-poms than I was prepared for. And another mechanic that's not mentioned in my everything we know. I guess technically it's not everything that we know. But the only new thing is this image, this chair. I'd have to assume... This chair is from Savage, from Criterion Savage, and not a reward from Criterion Extreme. It's possible it's a reward from Criterion Extreme, but that's not my prediction. So we just get to see uh, this this nice Sildian throne, I'd have to assume that, is over a backdrop of Uldav, all places. So 
Uh, that's If that's not fitting, I don't know what is. This description at the bottom has also been there the entire time. So again, there's, there's nothing new there. Now, moving down to items. In fact, actually, is that really the next thing that's new? I could have swore there was one. Ah, yeah, here we go. The Omicron Tribal Quest. See, we still have a little bit more to go down to. Omicron's a recently established last dregs may yet lack much of one expects of a cafe, a recognizable logogram, little jars of cream or patrons, but Omicron N7000 and not Omicron Jamming Way persevere. These unlikely partners in coffee are determined to brew fresh hope unto, until ultimate Thule brimeth over. So, we've actually seen these images already. The new one is this, the mount. So we actually knew this mount existed. We saw this in live letter number 72. And uh, yeah, I, it was expected anyway. We even saw a picture of this alien, these alien looking things. I don't think it was in the trailer. I think it was in live letter 71. Maybe we saw them before we even saw them as a mountain live letter 72. But either way, we have also already seen this, but it's another preview image for people who are not caught up in all that stuff. And then we have finally new items. Oh my goodness, that lags me so bad. <laughs> I don't know why. We have a new emote. This is the emote that uh, Graha makes, I think, when uh, he sees us. I think he's made it a couple of times at this point. But where this comes from is a pretty good question. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see this come from... Uh, Hildebrand, I wouldn't be surprised to see this come from the Omicrons, but it's a new emote, so maybe it doesn't come from any of them, maybe it's just being added to the game and it, you're gonna buy it with MGP or something, who knows, but I'd have to assume it's locked behind a quest, one of the new quests that's gonna be coming out, a lot of people are gonna like that one though, people have been requesting this one a lot, so I'm glad people are finally gonna get what they want. View media for 6.2. All the view media is, is it's just, it's these pictures that are new. They're just like lined up. Like all of them can be seen simultaneously. It's very rare there's anything new. Sometimes there's new, there's renders here. So I suppose I could just take a quick peek. Yeah, you have the new emote here. You have these. Okay, I guess. Oh yeah, we saw this during the live letter. It's new on the site, but it's not, it's, it's, uh, it's new to the, to the, it's new to the site, but we saw it during the live letter. Yeah. Um, you see, all this shows us is, I think that's the global citizens and I always forget the name of the other people, just a few more of the races from the final day dungeon, just, uh, participating, it would seem when it comes to the Omicron quest line. And I don't think anything else is new. The chair, the finder, and nothing else is new. Nothing down here, nothing up there. We are all set. All right. And that is going to be a wrap for our patch 6.2 uh overview and then this takes us back to the end walker page so i don't know <laughs> on sale december 7th by the way so that's going to be a wrap for this video let me let me know what you thought of the mounts the emotes uh what you think that mount the chair mount is going to be from specifically extreme or savage let me know all that in the comment section of the video below be sure to like favorite subscribe and share and stay tuned we'll be going over all of that content after it comes out on tuesday with guides aplenty i'll see you all in the next video and until then take care